Hello, humanoids. I'm not really what you call a, a morning halfling. I'm more like a like a brunch halfling. I really like that time. Anyway. So let's talk about an underutilized mechanic in Dungeons and Dragons 5e. Exhaustion. Here we go. so good. <coughs> oh, that burns so bad. I'm gonna go clean up real quick. I'll be right back. You watch this. Friends, let's talk about exhaustion. So exhaustion is a really cool mechanic in Dungeons and Dragons 5e that most DMs leave up to barbarian skills and spells and don't really use beyond that and they never use it for roleplay which I don't understand. This is perhaps one of the greatest mechanics for roleplay and I'm gonna prove why. But first let's start with what is exhaustion? So exhaustion in D&D 5e is a mechanic that penalizes players based on how exhausted they are. And it goes in six levels based on points. If you have one point of exhaustion, you're at the first level and you have disadvantage on all skill checks. This one is the best for roleplay. Hey, good looking. Wanna give us a <coughs> discount on uh, that sword right there? Looking real good. Looking fine. What? Oh, I got something where? What? At level two, with two points of exhaustion, your speed is cut in half. This is really only uh, important in combat, as you don't really track speed elsewhere, but it can still be a great role playing moment as well. Three points of exhaustion makes you roll with disadvantage on all attack rolls. Yikes. Uh. Oh. What? Where am I? Four levels of exhaustion. This is where it really starts to get spicy. At the fourth level of exhaustion, your maximum hit points are cut in half and cannot be restored by any magical means. I'm talking not even greater restoration. They're just in half and they stay there. Ooh. Level five, you can no longer move. Your speed is at zero. You can't take actions. You're just laying there, relying on your team to get you out, hopefully. And then the sixth level of exhaustion, you die. Yeah, no death saves, nothing like that. You just die. I think I almost got to the sixth level of exhaustion in college. Pretty sure. So this mechanic, why would you ever use it outside of combat? Well, this mechanic is awesome for narrative situations. Normally, DMs only give levels of exhaustion when barbarians use their frenzy ability, which allows them to uh, have uh, take an extra attack, but in return, they have to take a point of exhaustion. Or spells that specifically say that they cause exhaustion, and they don't really use it otherwise. But there are so many opportunities in your games to use exhaustion. Ways that will make it much more believable for your characters. Using exhaustion in your game can be an extremely effective way to, be, to bring consequences to a hard adventuring lifestyle. No one can be beaten to the point of unconsciousness. Brung, brung, brought, brought, brought back and then beaten into unconsciousness again over and over without some negative consequences. 
The first amazing thing about exhaustion is that it reminds your players that they are people and that people need a break. People need a rest. These characters are supposed to be people. They're not superhuman, although some of them may not be human at all. Regardless, they don't have superpowers, though they do have magic. Let's just forget about the super thing. That was dumb. Yes, the world has magic that can heal the body, but can it heal the mind? I mean, exhaustion is as much a state of mind as it is a physical condition. And just because the body is no longer bleeding doesn't mean that it doesn't feel the impact of those wounds, of being torn apart and then brought back together. Adventurers need rest. It is exhausting to be an adventurer, and a couple points of exhaustion will remind your players of that. It is a storytelling element that can bring grit and reality into this fantasy world. Because your players won't think about the idea of their character being tired. They have full hit points. They're good to go. But in reality, they need rest. Not just your player characters, but your players. And you. You all need rest. Downtime in a, in a village or a city where you get to throw out some more plot hooks, maybe some fun side quests, or maybe just take a break from making combat encounters. Combat is exhausting both on your players in real life and on your players on paper. You need to take a break from it every now and then. And exhaustion is a fantastic way to ensure that your players do that on their own. If your players have been out in the wilderness for quite a while or gone through a really exhausting experience, give them a point or two of exhaustion. Now, exhaustion D&D 5e doesn't exactly tell us, other than the spells and the barbarian thing, when you should be exhausted, but you can think of it just like real life. If adventurers are out without adequate shelter for long periods of time, if they're out in extreme hot or extreme cold, or if they've done something that's extremely physically exerting, they should get a point of exhaustion. And this exhaustion reminds players that they need to go into town because the only way to cure exhaustion is with a long rest, adequate food, and water. Yeah, it's that easy. But you have to take a long rest for each point of exhaustion, meaning if you have five points of exhaustion stacked up, you have to take five long rests. And then it kind of goes down with each rest that you have. Now it's important to note that those negatives that I talked about, they stack. So with each point of exhaustion, all of those negatives stack on top of each other. The new one doesn't replace the old one, it's added to the old ones. So here are some of my favorite ways to use exhaustion in D&D 5e. The first one is adventuring for too long. If players have gone out without adequate shelter, without adequate environments, so it's really hot or it's really cold, and they've been out adventuring for a really long time, I like to give them a point of exhaustion every few days after the first week. This is to remind my players that they are not Mr. Incredible. They need to have a good night's sleep and have some adequate shelter. So if they've been out adventuring too long, if they've done multiple dungeons and haven't gone back into town, exhaustion is a nice, subtle, and sometimes not so subtle reminder that they need a break. The next way I use exhaustion is by using nightmares. Some of the things that your players have seen, no person should see, and it makes sense that it would haunt them. If you want to use the insanity chart, you're welcome to do that. I think I'm going to make a video about that later, but uh, insanity is a great way. If you don't want to commit to insanity, though, nightmares are a great way to bring back the memories of those horrible things that they've done or seen. So what I like to do is when my players say that they are taking a long rest, if they are a race that actually needs to sleep, I have them roll a d100. Uh, I give it about a 30% chance of them having a nightmare. If they roll between 1 and 30, they have a nightmare and do not 
sleep well that night. Now, they still get the benefits of a long rest, their spells still reset, they can still use their hit dice, but they are exhausted. They get one point of exhaustion if they have a nightmare. This is a great way to bring exhaustion in as a storytelling element, to bring a little bit of role play to it, and maybe even some consequences if you've got murder hobos in your group. Yeah, what you did, it's gonna haunt you. Another time when I give exhaustion is when my party decides to have a night on the town. A good old drunken carousing. Uh, it's super fun and I love role playing it, but my players know they have to beware of the hangover the next day. Depending on how drunk they get and how late they stay up, they get one or two points of exhaustion. This is the best because if you have a bard who loves to go out and party, but is also your main persuader, and suddenly you're in trouble with the guards and your bard tries to persuade, you can say something like, the bard gets distracted by the huge bags under your eyes. Roll with disadvantage. And then the final way that you can use exhaustion in your campaign is actually to make it a character flaw. Insomnia and restlessness are common flaws in people in the real world. Why wouldn't they be in a fantasy one? If your player, now I will, I will say, leave this up to your player, you can put it on them if you want to, but even then I would still talk to them about it first because it's their character. But if you have a character, a, a player, who really enjoys a challenge and who's really into the roleplay aspect of things, exhaustion as a flaw can be a great thing. They have, perhaps the character has insomnia, and so they have to roll a percentile dice of whether or not they can sleep that night. Or they have to take something in order to sleep, perhaps even becoming addicted to whatever substance that is, and when they run out, they can't sleep at all. Or you could have a highly intelligent character who is so smart that they have a problem turning their brain off at night. And so regularly they simply can't sleep because they've been thinking about all of these things. And so they get a point of exhaustion. For some people, they love the idea of having to fight through these um, different levels of exhaustion and come up with creative ways to get around those disadvantages. And they just like the role play aspect of it. And it can be a really, really fun way to use exhaustion in your campaign. However you decide to do it, I honestly hope that you start using this mechanic more. This is perhaps one of the most underutilized mechanics in Dungeons & Dragons as far as roleplay is concerned. And to me, it almost feels like it was made for roleplay. It was made for those characters who do stupid things sometimes, or who really like to party, or even have a little bit of a character flaw. Using exhaustion in your campaign can add so much storytelling, can provide negative consequences for certain players, or just provide a reality check and remind your players that everyone needs a rest. However you use it, I hope you start using exhaustion. And I also hope that you will like this video and subscribe to Halfling Hobbies because liking a Halfling video and subscribing to a Halfling YouTube channel is luck for your campaign. So make sure you do both. <laughs>